Hello, construction enthusiasts. Are you wondering why US is all set to remove some of the mega dams in the coming years? Well, today we're diving into a fascinating transformation happening across the United States. We'll try to delve deep into why the removal of some of the nation's largest dams is imminent. Well, this change is about much more than just an engineering challenge. It's about restoring ecosystems and revitalizing rivers that have been blocked for decades. If you're passionate about environmental projects and engineering wonders, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Without further ado, let's dive straight in. First, let's see the example of the Elwa River in Washington state. For the first time in a century, it's flowing freely. The removal of the Elwa and Glines Canyon dams marked the biggest dam removal project in US history. But hold on, this record is about to be broken. The Klamath River, stretching 414 kilometers from Oregon to North California, is next. Four of its six dams are set to be demolished. But how exactly do you remove a dam, especially massive ones like those on the Klamath? Let's flash back to the 1950s in the United States, a time of rebuilding and expansion. This era saw an unprecedented boom in dam construction, particularly in the West. Structures like the iconic Hoover Dam and the lesser-known Glines Canyon Dam on the Elwa River symbolized human ingenuity and control over nature. Rivers, once dynamic ecosystems, were transformed into stagnant reservoirs. Sediment, which is the lifeblood of rivers, was trapped behind concrete walls, depriving downstream habitats of essential nutrients. Over time, it became clear that the ecological damage caused by dams often outweighed the benefits. This realization has sparked a growing movement to remove dams, especially those that are obsolete or causing significant harm. The Elwa River Restoration Project, completed in 2014, is a testament to the transformative power of dam removal. Now let's talk about the Klamath River Project, set to remove four dams, which will be the largest dam removal in history. In early 2023, crews began the groundwork, improving roads and bridges to allow access to heavy construction equipment. This initial phase, lasting about eight to nine months, is crucial for the safe and efficient removal of the four dams, JC Boyle, Copco No. 1, Copco No. 2 and Iron Gate. Removing a dam requires meticulous planning and years of preparation. The process often starts with a drawdown, where the reservoir's level is gradually lowered to reduce water pressure on the dam. For instance, the 64-meter-high Glines Canyon Dam was removed through a managed drawdown. Engineers cut notches into the structure to create spillways, allowing water to flow through and gradually erode the concrete. The Klamath River project involves various techniques. For example, Copco No. 1, a 39-meter-high concrete gravity arch dam, underwent significant modifications to prepare for the drawdown. Engineers constructed a work pad downstream and drilled a new 3-meter diameter tunnel through the dam's base to control water and sediment release. The Iron Gate Dam, the largest at 52.7 meters high, required reinforcing an existing low-level tunnel to withstand hydraulic forces during the drawdown. As the reservoirs are drained, the final phase begins, the complete removal of the dams. This involves a combination of mechanical demolition and controlled blasting, with debris carefully managed to minimize environmental impact. So that's all for today's episode. I hope you've loved it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay informed.